most welcome to the channel Mathematica ATD. Subscribe the channel for the latest videos and tutorials. Press the bell icon and never miss any new update. Dear friends, the topic is argument or amplitude of a complex number. The amplitude of any complex number is defined as the inclination of the complex number with respect to positive direction of x-axis on the argon plane. The sense of rotation, this is the first basic thing. What is the sense of rotation? Amplitude of a complex number is always positive. When measurement of inclination is anti-clockwise, then this direction is positive. In this way, this is the anti-clockwise direction. So this is positive direction. And the amplitude of complex number is always negative when the measurement of inclination is clockwise direction. This direction. Negative. Negative direction. Now we shall study the principal value form. If value of inclination lie between minus pi to plus pi, then the value of inclination called principal value form. Now we shall study this one. Okay, we, let us consider a complex number say z is equal to x plus i y. So if we plot this, you know this is the argon plane or the Gaussian plane or you may say this is the complex plane. So the point is P x y. This axis is real axis and this one is imaginary axis. So join this point P with O and OP is the distance and this is denoted by modulus Z. We draw a perpendicular from P on the real axis such that PM is the altitude on real axis. OM is X units and PM is Y units. Let the angle be theta here. Theta is acute. So here tan theta is equal to Y by X such that theta is equal to tan inverse y by x that is tan inverse what is y y is the imaginary part of the complex number z so imaginary part of z over a real part of z so friends this angle theta has infinitely many values differing by multiples of 2 pi. The unique value of theta such that minus pi less than theta less than or equal to pi is called the principal value of the amplitude or principal argument. This formula for determining the argument of z is equal to x plus i y has severe drawback because say we consider two complex numbers z1 is equal to 1 plus i root 3 and another complex number say z2 is equal to minus 1 minus i root 3 are two complex numbers they are distinct so represented by two distinct points in the argon plane but their arguments seem to be tan inverse sorry tan inverse root 3 that is equal to pi over 3 or 4 pi over 3 which is not correct actually in uh, in fact, the argument is the common solution of the simultaneous trigonometric equations. What are these simultaneous e trigonometric equations? You see from this figure, the base is x, altitude is y. So here cos theta is equal to 
cos theta is equal to x upon root over x square plus y square and sin theta is equal to y upon root over x square plus y square. Since the above system of equations have has infinitely many solutions, therefore there can be infinitely many arguments of the complex number z is equal to x plus i y. The argument theta which satisfies the inequality uh, minus pi less than theta less than or equal to pi uh, is usually known as the principal argument of the complex number z is equal to x plus i y. The argument of z depends upon the quadrant in which the point p lies here this point is p p lies uh, now i shall discuss these one by one we consider the first quadrant say in first quadrant you know the values of x and y both will be positive so let us consider z is equal to x plus i y where x and y both are greater than 0 that is positive ok so we consider the argon plane here this is the real axis and this one is imaginary axis or is in O ok this point since this is uh, both both x and y that means the real part and imaginary parts are positive for this these will fall in the first quadrant x y we draw the perpendicular here from the point P on the real axis say P M join O P ok see this is an acute angle with the opposite direction of x axis say this is alpha ok so what is tan alpha this one is OM is equal to x units M P is equal to y units what is tan alpha tan alpha is equal to y upon x ok now we shall consider theta as the argument of the complex number z is equal to x plus i y ok mind it theta is the argument now since theta is the argument what is theta theta is the inclination of o p with the positive direction of x axis ok so this is actually the argument this is in the anti-clockwise direction so this is the actually the positive direction so argument or arg of z or you may say amplitude of the complex number z is equal to actually this is theta theta and this theta is equal to alpha theta is equal to alpha now what is alpha alpha is equal to hence here alpha is equal to tan inverse modulus y upon x so this alpha is equal to tan inverse modulus y upon x so when a point lies in the first quadrant of the argon plane then the argument of this of that complex number is tan inverse of modulus y upon x now i shall consider a point in the second quadrant ok so consider the point like this say z is equal to x plus i y you know this one very well when a point falls in the second quadrant obviously x should be less than 0 and y is greater than 0 so we again draw the argon plane origin this is the real axis this one is imaginary axis such that the point z is here say this is p x y draw the perpendicular on the real axis also join o p this angle is alpha acute alpha o m is equal to x units and m p is equal to y units what is tan alpha 
tan alpha is equal to y upon x. Therefore, alpha is equal to tan inverse modulus of y upon x. Because alpha is an acute angle, for this we have taken the modulus sign here. Now, earlier I said theta will be the theta will be our uh, amplitude of the complex number or the argument of the complex number. So, OP makes an angle theta with the positive direction of the real axis. Now, what is theta? Theta is equal to pi minus alpha. This is pi and this is alpha. So, pi minus alpha is equal to theta. Theta is equal to pi minus alpha. What is theta? Theta is argument of z. Argument of z. So, amplitude or argument of z is equal to theta. Theta is equal to pi minus alpha. What is alpha? Alpha is this one. Pi minus tan inverse y upon x modulus. Obviously, you should take modulus of y upon x. So, when a point lies in the second quadrant like this 1x plus i y, its amplitude or argument is pi minus tan inverse y by x. So, we have completed two points. Uh, one is in the uh, first quadrant, another one is in the second quadrant. In first quadrant, you see both the real and imaginary uh, values are greater than 0 and here re real part is less than 0 and the imaginary part is greater than 0. Now, I shall discuss about a point which lies in the third quadrant. Take a point in the third quadrant like this. Say z is equal to x plus i y. You know, in the third quadrant, both of them, that is the real and imaginary, both of them are negative. That is, x is less than 0 and y is less than 0. We draw the argon plane. This is the real axis. This one is the imaginary axis. Let us consider that the point is P. This is the third quadrant actually. So, the coordinates are x, y. We draw a perpendicular from the point P on the real axis. Say P M, join P O, such that O M is equal to X units, M P is equal to Y units, this is acute alpha. So, what is tan alpha from this right angle triangle? Tan alpha is equal to Y upon X, such that alpha is equal to tan inverse modulus Y upon X x ok since alpha is acute so we have put the modulus sign here now earlier again I say earlier I said that I shall use theta as the argument so OP line makes theta with the real axis now what is theta theta is equal to pi minus alpha pi minus alpha now this is very important our rotation is in clockwise direction this is the negative direction actually so this angle pi minus alpha will be minus of pi minus alpha that is minus pi plus alpha so minus pi plus alpha. Alpha is equal to tan inverse of modulus y upon x. Clear? What is theta? Theta is equal to tan inverse, sorry, argument of z. Argument of z. Argument of z is equal to theta. Theta is equal to minus pi plus tan inverse y upon x. So, this point z is equal to x plus i y is in the third quadrant and its amplitude is this one. Now, I shall discuss about point on 
the th uh, fourth quadrant okay so we consider a point say z is equal to x plus i y which lies in the fourth quadrant in fourth quadrant the properties are respectively x is greater than 0 and y is less than 0 real part is greater than 0 imaginary part of the complex number is less than 0 we draw the uh, argon plane this is the real axis this one is the imaginary axis origin the point P whose coordinates x y draw the perpendicular from P on the real axis say PM and also join OP this angle is equal to alpha okay now what is tan alpha tan alpha is equal to this is x this one is y tan alpha is equal to y upon x therefore alpha is equal to tan inverse modulus y upon x okay now earlier i said that theta is our argument so this is this line op makes theta with real axis now this theta is in clockwise direction so this is the negative direction actually so theta is equal to alpha you can say this one theta is equal to minus alpha because the direction is in clockwise direction so for this sense is negative so theta is equal to minus alpha such that minus of tan inverse modulus y upon x so when a point this is actually the argument of z so when a point lies in the fourth quadrant that is x greater than 0 y is less than 0 then the amplitude or the argument of this complex number is minus tan inverse y over x so i discussed uh, with all the points which are lying in first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant i think you oh, understand the uh, process i discussed here you may rewind this rewind this and you see frequently to understand this one thank you have a nice day